It's Tuesday, July 2nd, and I'm just wondering what Nico Harrison, the general manager of the Mavs, might do next. And now, a word from our title sponsor. Are all financial advisors fiduciaries? Fewer than you think, not knowing could reduce your lifestyle. Hi, I'm Mitch Kramer, founder and CEO of Fluent Financial. A fiduciary is a regulatory term to reduce conflicts of interest in wealth management. A fiduciary always works in your best interest. A non-fiduciary advisor might put their compensation or company ahead of yours. At Blunt Financial, we are certified financial planners acting as fiduciary advisors. To learn more, go to FluentFinancial.com or Fluent Financial's YouTube channel. There's been a significant development in your laundry room. Laundry detergent sheets, not dryer sheets, but the same concept. Paper thin, remarkably efficient. Just toss one into your load of clothes and voila! Sparkling clean and smelling great. And as a plus, they're hypoallergenic for those with sensitive skin. No more plastic jugs Jugs of of detergent. Jugs that just wind up in trash heaps. It's easy to get your laundry detergent sheets. Just go to the link in today's podcast episode. Smart Power Smart Home Solutions, where cutting-edge technology meets effortless living. Control your entire home with just a tap on your smartphone. Adjust the lights, set the perfect temperature, and ensure your home is secure, all from the palm of your hand. Star Power has the experts that will transform your house into a secure smart home. Experience the ultimate solution in comfort and security for your family. Get started at GetStarPower.com. Star Power, where innovation meets home. Monday's Just Wondering centered on the emergence of the Mavs general manager, Nico Harrison. How unbelievably aggressive he was. And he turned into a kind of a shoot-from-the-hip general manager making moves at a furious pace. We had detailed, during the first podcast, Harrison's remarkable nature, never afraid to pull the trigger on a deal, always ready to roll the dice, which, by the way, now seems especially important, since the Mavericks are owned by the Sands Company that made billions of dollars in casinos in Las Vegas. We categorized all the deals he had pulled, trading away Kristaps Porzingis, the controversial deal for Kyrie Irving, the new big extension for Irving, the draft deal that brought not only Derek Lively, but the kid Olivier Maxon Prosper, the huge in-season trades that acquired Daniel Gafford and P.J. Washington, and then this in the recent draft, the Mavs targeted a young French player they believe has a future as a wingman, Melvin Ajinka, and moved up to get him. And then, of course, the Mavs found a taker for Tim Hardaway and his $16 million contract. They got back Quentin Grimes, who makes only a little over $4 million, And this created the money the Mavericks needed to sign Derek Jones or somebody else. The episode Sunday night finished. And at the end, I jokingly said, as soon as we'd finished taping the episode, that we'd hurry away to see what Nico Harrison might have done next. Well, he did do something next. In fact, he did two somethings since we recorded that podcast. Well, the Mavs concluded that they didn't have enough, couldn't sign the forward Derek Jones, who'd been such a good player for them this year. But by late Sunday night, the Mavs had quickly reacted to sign forward, small forward, Najee Marshall from the New Orleans Pelicans. He's 26 years old. He's long-armed, a small forward, very solid defensively, though probably not quite as good as Jones, but he's nearly a 39% shooter from three-point range, and that's measurably better than Jones was. 
but Harrison wasn't done yet. He struck again. In a three-way deal with Charlotte and Golden State, Dallas managed to get sharpshooter Clay Thompson for the Mavs on a three-year deal. By the way, the Mavs beat out the Lakers' attempts to get Thompson. Thompson's 34 years old. He averaged 18 points per game off the Warriors' bench this year. He was a centerpiece of the Warriors' wonderful teams over the last decade. He tore an ACL. And in 2021, he ruptured an Achilles tendon. He has lost a step without question, and that is most evident on the defensive end. But the dude can still shoot. Attempting nearly nine three-pointers a game, Thompson still hit 39% this year, and he can still put the ball on the floor sometimes and attack the rim. The deal, which it's done, but all the details haven't yet been finalized, had the Mavs send away Josh Green to Charlotte. Josh Green was just about to start a contract of nearly $14 million a year. That created the salary cap space for the Mavericks to sign Clay Thompson. Oh, and by the way, in all this wheeling and dealing, the Mavericks also required a pair of second-round draft choices in this situation. Is Nico Harrison's wheeling and dealing done? One suspect the answer is never. It's never done. So... What do the new Mavs look like? Luca and Kyrie at the guards, Gafford at center, P.J. Washington at one forward, and Marshall replaces Derek Jones at the other forward. They still have Lively and Kleba to back up at center and forward. Clay Thompson steps right in for Tim Hardaway, who'd fallen into disuse with the Mavericks. He steps right in as a sharpshooter off the bench. And Quentin Grimes, acquired in the deal with Detroit, steps in and takes Josh Green's role. And then there's still Jaden Hardy as the backup point guard, completing a second five. Is that enough for the Mavs to win it all? Who knows? But if they decide it isn't, Nico will strike again. Today's episode brought to you by Fluent Financial, Retire Sooner, Better Lifestyle, and by Star Power, Love Where You Live. Just Wondering is a production of DSP Media for FanStream Sports. You can find Norm's show along with other great programming at FanStreamSports.com. Thank you for listening to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, hit follow. And every weekday, a fresh new episode of Just Wondering will be delivered right to you. And if you enjoy this podcast, please share it with a friend. Finally, should you have questions or comments, please share them with us by going to X and our address at Norm's Clubhouse. That's Just Wondering with Norm Hitzkus. And every day, I'll be just wondering about something. And I'm Mary Hitchkiss, and I'm just wondering too.